What's going on YouTube? How about you? Truck and Rob here. And uh, I know I haven't been doing a whole lot on here lately. Man, I've been really busy. Really, really busy. I'm sure some of you guys understand. Some of you guys are busy too. Some of you guys not so busy. <laughs> Just sitting around. Um, I'm here. Um, now there's been a little bit of confusion. Uh, with my last video, got a lot of comments about that Lone Star uh, video, the red one. Um, that is not my truck. It's not a temporary truck. Um, I'm in still in this uh, the white uh, 2016 Kenworth T680, the one that I did the video about, uh, where there was two of them. All right, I've got one. Chris has the other, and we're out here running, man. Nothing's changed. Um, but everybody's asking if that was a temporary truck or, or if my truck was still in the shop or um some of it was a little bit negative you know oh, you know whatever you know it's, i'm not even gonna go there but um i'm fine man uh there might be some confusion on all that but we're trucking man um you know part of the busy was uh this truck was in the shop <clears throat> um had a problem with the dump valve uh, where you hit the switch and you dump the air in the back, you know, to drop trailers and shit like that. Um, had two problems with that. Um, picked up my first load, my first damn load, and the damn uh, dump valve stuck on me. And uh, got it fixed. Replaced the solenoid. And uh, then uh, delivered the load. And it happened again, you know. What's up, buddy? How's it going? I'm going to have you back in that first bay. Go ahead and break the seal. I'm going to get you unloaded. First bay on... The on... first door right here. Okay, yeah. cool. We're going to go get loaded. Hang on. All right, we are back. <laughs> getting unloaded here i said i was getting loaded but we're getting unloaded uh i got five stops to make on this load here pain in the ass man but it's things we do for money right but uh anyway uh yeah i had a problem with the dump valve out back and uh basically it wouldn't air back up i dropped the air out out back and it wouldn't air back up uh once i made my delivery so uh we took it back into the shop and <laughs> man these damn new trucks man enough to piss you off um and this is kind of part of of why i've changed my tune a little bit on on why i really don't want to own one um it was a damn computer after all the work that we did uh the first time we fixed it we swapped out the solenoid uh, i worked for a minute um went down the road and it did the same damn thing so it turned out I was in the shop for about 15 hours which really ain't bad right and uh, turned out it was a damn computer the program uh, on this truck had some parameters in it that were turned on that uh, for features that the truck didn't even have right <laughs> it's stupid shit man um, you know why the the dump valve uh get, goes through the computer nowadays you know hell even your turn signal goes through the damn computer you know um you know back in in the older trucks and uh, i've done it quite a few times of, of chasing air hoses you know um i pulled off the dash panel here uh where the switch was and i was expecting to find um air hoses you know some of the older trucks it's it's when you flip the switch it's an actual switch of uh it's moving air you know it's it's an air switch um uh, you know and and most of the trucks every air hose in here if you'll notice um has a different color they're all color coded right there's a reason for that um for troubleshooting you know so i tore apart the dash and uh was expecting to see some hoses there uh, uh you know a blue hose or or green hose a yellow hose whatever you know <clears throat> and uh start chasing that wire or that hose 
uh, out back and try to find the solenoid, try to find the switch back there and, and knock it around, take it apart, clean it out, you know, do some sort of maintenance myself so I didn't have to go in the damn shop for 15 hours. No, 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 no. It's all through the computer now. I took this switch apart, this panel apart up here is just wires. Really. <laughs> that pissed me off, man, you know. Um, these new trucks, they're, they're making it to where uh, you can't do anything. You can't do a damn thing with them, you know. Um, they're cool and all. Uh, get good fuel mileage and, and really efficient. And they don't kill the trees uh, with all the emission systems and all that stuff. But you can't work on them, you know. Um, the whole time I was in the, the last shop, the first, the first uh, repair, that was wrenching, man. Dude was underneath and uh swapping out the damn solenoid which was electric you know um that was me mechanic he tried me being a mechanic you know and the second time was all computer you know they were chasing wires and 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 had the damn computer had the pigtail plugged in under the dash for for 15 hours and they had to go through the, the program code line by line by line by line turning stuff on turning stuff off uh, until they finally figured out what the hell the problem was you know um that's where these trucks are at and they're only getting worse you know um back back to what i said i have no desire uh to own one of these trucks you know um they're just it's too much it, it gets to the point to where you know that 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 repair there that was under warranty you know um now if i own the truck and it was, uh, you know, five, six years old already, it wouldn't have been under warranty. So it'd be a downtime, plus the maintenance bill, all that crap, you know. Um, it's getting crazy. These trucks are getting crazy, and you can't fix them yourself anymore, unfortunately. There's, there's very few things that you can do on these new trucks yourself. Um... You know, I don't mean to go into a rant or anything, but, you know, I, I like these new trucks. Don't get me wrong. They're cool. Um, it's just I, I have absolutely zero desire to own one, you know. Um, those of you that have been following me for any kind of time um, know that, that I had that itch to to be that, to be, get up to that next level of, of full-blown owner-op, you know, have the title uh, to the truck and the safe at the house, right? And, and that's trucking, man. Um, you know... 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, in trucking, that was the thing to do, you know, was to be a, a big bad owner op, outlaw owner op, and uh, just making good money, you know, uh, back in the 70s, 80s, uh, even the 90s, you know, but um, times are changing, and I, I don't know, you know, times are changing, That that's all. Um, Hell, I don't know how I'll feel about it tomorrow. You know, that's that's how it is, you know. Um, I will own a truck. I, I, I will own a truck. But, B-U-T-T, -T, it'll be an old show truck, you know. Uh, ultimately, my dream truck, man, my, my dream truck is, is like an early 90s, late 80s uh, old Freightliner FLD. Uh, old flat top FLD and I uh, want it all stretched out and uh, show truck shit you know um, I won't haul freight with it oh they're shaking us back there um, I won't haul freight with it you know it'll be old school uh, show truck uh, I'll keep it out in the shed and uh, and just drive it to the to the truck shows you know that's about all I'll do with it but that right now at this moment in time that's the only truck I'll ever own is, is a show truck, you know. Um, you know, I'm just doing company time here at RST. I'm happy as hell. Um, everything's going good. I love RST. So, uh, uh, RST is making some big changes here. Uh, well, not changes. Uh, we're growing. We're growing. We're adding things. Um, things that I can't even talk about yet, you know. So, um, some big things are happening here. I'm happy as hell. I'm in the Kenworth T680. Not in the Lone Star, uh, no problems at all. You know, the truck is fixed, the truck is out of the shop. I'm out here hauling freight, man. Uh, home time is over, I took a week off. And I'll tell you what, man, that was glorious. 
that was that was everything I thought it would be. It was uh, taking a week off, you know. Oh, I, oh yeah, and it was paid, you know. Um, this whole guaranteed salary thing here. So, getting some negative comments, getting some hate mail about all this stuff going on here. But, you know, um, a lot of people that that have known me over the years, uh, you know, they talk to me now or they watch my videos now, and they're like, dude, Rob. You, you seem really happy, you know, what's going on? I tell them what's going on, and they're like, dude, you you're, feel happy, man. You look good. Uh, you, you, you've got a great attitude. So what's happening, you know? Um, I found a good company, you know? Uh, in my previous videos, how to find a good company, uh, enough is enough. Go down the list, you know? Um, it was bad, you know? It's hard. Uh, it's kind of like finding finding your wife, you know. Yeah, uh, some of you guys out there, you've been been married and divorced three, four, five times, you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and to find that one woman that that's going to get along with you for the rest of your life, it's hard, you know. Um, I happen to get got lucky on that too, but uh, finding a company is the same way. It really is. Um, you got to find that company that that you're really happy with and that's gonna work for you, you know, and uh, I'm happy I'm happy. So y'all can send your hate mail all you want uh, Guaranteed salary ain't gonna work guaranteed salary is stupid uh, What they're doing is stupid um, You know Right now the big thing is is uh, uh, RST gets gets quite a few trucks from quality leasing, you know, and uh it's not nothing hidden that that quality used to be a big part of Celadon, you know. Um, but the fact of the matter is, now right now, Celadon's kind of having some trouble. However, quality is broken off from them pretty far. Uh, last I heard, uh, quality only had like, it was something like 18, 18 or 20 percent, you know. So quality ain't going nowhere. Celadon might, something might happen to Celadon, but ain't nothing happen to quality, okay? Um, it's solid, uh, you know, Chris is always talking to the, uh, the head honchos over there at, at quality, everything's good. Everything's good, quality's not going anywhere. So we're gonna continue doing business with them until further notice, you know? Um, it's like that, so everything's good. Uh, save your hate mail on the quality and the Celadon. Oh, you're just a Celadon driver. Uh, really? Ah, uh, one of those comments. Oh, oh, you're just a Celadon driver because I showed a picture of the truck. You know? Um, no. <laughs> oh, you just work for Prime. Uh, no, I don't. I work for RST. So, that's what's going on right here right now. I'm alive and well. We're good. Uh, Paul, like I said, I, I made a video about that. Uh, Paul is in the in the white Lone Star. He's out cruising around hauling freight. Uh, he's happy as a clam too. Um, where did where did that saying come from? Happy as a clam. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look that up. Happy as a clam. Um, he's happy. Um, everybody's happy, and uh, we're out here doing good things, big things. We got. Uh, news on the horizon for RST breaking news and uh, hell yesterday I uh, just uh, reserved a uh, room there at the crown for GATS 2017 how about that how about you um, going to the truck show again full blown uh, truck show appearance uh, at GATS this year uh, me and the wife are going <clears throat> we uh just reserved our room there at the Crown. Uh, it's not too bad. We wanted to stay at the Omni, but uh, we ended up getting it over at the Crown because it's a little bit cheaper, you know. Um, the Omni is nice, man, but I think it was like, uh, it's right around 100 and, I think it was 179 a night. <clears throat> and uh, over at the Crown is 117 a night. So, <clears throat> whatever, man. Crown's like, it's like five blocks away, five downtown blocks away. So it's like a, what a half a mile or something from the show, you know, big whoop de doo. But uh, we got the hotel reserved. Um, L and J Radio is gonna have a booth set up, and uh, 
we're gonna tear it up, man. We're gonna tear it up. We got uh, Dave Gore is gonna be performing live. Uh, me and Woody, uh, we're gonna be doing the Rob and Woody show there live from the booth, from the LNJ booth, um, interviewing drivers, interviewing uh, some of our sponsors that are gonna be there. You know, some of the LNJ sponsors. Uh, remember, I, I don't have any sponsors. I personally don't need any sponsors, but the radio show has sponsors. So we'll be uh, interviewing and playing around with our sponsors, um, doing stuff for Trucker's Final Mile. Um, we've got shirts made up, um, all sorts of cool stuff going on. Um, be probably doing some giveaways, stuff like that, and uh, some live music be having a good time so if you're not set up to go to Gats you got almost three months to figure it out come on go to the truck show and uh, you don't have to stay the whole time you know they've got truck parking there um, they've got shuttles that can take you in and out you know it's not a big deal but uh, come check it out and have a good time so there you go guys I just wanted to give you an update um, that's it I'm in the t680 Life is good. We're out here trucking. Uh, freight is good. Uh, Prime is is keeping us busy. Uh, we're at Prime, but not at Prime. Remember, we're only we're just power only for Prime. Power only logistics for Prime. All right. Uh, we just haul their their freight, their trailers, and they pay us. All right. And then uh, we're same thing with Carlisle out of uh, Alaska. That's coming soon. Um, while I was at home, I. Uh, put in my application for my passport got that all paid up and uh, that's in the mail it's done it's it's done it's gone um, four to six weeks to get that back and then watch out be uh, hopefully heading up into Canada and Alaska pulling some Carlisle freight oh but but I worked for Celadon right I, I work for Prime yeah well we'll see <laughs> I don't think Prime goes to Alaska or Celadon goes to Alaska I'm not sure but um, we'll have to see so stay tuned for the continued adventures of the Celadon Prime um, driver here you guys are crazy man y'all crack me up so all right stay tuned guys um, I got another uh, truck tour video that I filmed uh, a little while ago I'll probably put that out and uh, that's the last one um, I think it was a uh, Peterbilt five uh one of them new 587s i believe so i'm gonna throw that out next after this video and uh then we'll get back into it so all right guys we'll talk to you later uh remember to be the professional set the example and uh you know what uh more on l and j hang on here just a second uh this wednesday you know we always try to have a special guest on this wednesday uh every wednesday on the robin woody show over on l and j uh eight o'clock Central time, Texas time, and uh, we we have a good show this Wednesday, uh, uh, the tenth. We're gonna have Chad Home from Alignment Solutions. You know, a couple weeks ago we had Mike Beckett from MD Alignment. Uh, Chad Home is like uh, a younger Mike Beckett, <laughs> a Mike Beckett in training. You know. Um, he does real good alignments, and uh, he, he's a real good dude. So you're going to want to tune in to the Rob and Woody show uh, every Wednesday night. But this Wednesday night on the uh, 10th, uh, we're going to have Chad Hone on there talking about alignments, uh, suspension, tires, shocks, all that stuff, what he has to offer, and uh, maybe some kind of a special deal for the listeners. So make sure you tune into that. Robin Woody Show on LNJ Radio. Uh, Google it. Google LNJ Radio. You can do lnjradio.com or robinwoodyshow.com. Hmm. There you go, guys. All right, I'm really getting off here this time. Y'all be safe out there, and uh, we'll talk to you later.